Browns receiver Josh Gordon estimates he was bringing in $10,000 per month in weed sales while in college, he told Sports Illustrated's Ben Baskin in an article published Tuesday. Gordon said that as a sophomore at Baylor, he was receiving as much as six pounds of weed, vacuum sealed and wrapped in mylar, sprayed with kerosene and covered in coffee beans to mask the smell, shipped through you. S mail every week from a dealer back home. He then would drive to Dallas, Austin, and San Antonio to sell it. If I was going to be a thug or a gangster, I was going to be the best gangster out there, Gordon told Baskin. Gordon is eligible to return for Cleveland this Sunday against San Diego, and if he plays, it will be his first regular season game since 2014 due to drug suspensions. Gordon grew up in Houston, joining a gang as a sophomore at Lamar High School, he told Baskin. Every morning he would pick up a .38 special from a tattoo parlor and return it at the end of the school day. In high school, Gordon said he sold drugs, stole cars and bought counterfeit money. He had previously told GQ in a recent interview that he smoked marijuana and drank alcohol before probably every game in college and the NFL.